前的坦克在帐篷区来回碾压。Devant fait pleurer mes yeux. Les cavales pour me réchauffer. 非常感谢星期天大家都到这里来。星期六。星期六都到这里来，而且还是一个书店，我感觉到非常舒服这个地方。但是 ，sorry， 我选的这一段可能会让大家的下午茶喝的不是太太舒服。大概东面的同学们开始撤离了，人群乱叫着拥向阶梯，上千人一下子在那儿挤成一团。Marjan is certainly one of the leading contemporary Chinese writers of fiction.、Um, he's a dissident, he's an exile, but、uh, he's above all a completely individual voice who I think can't be fitted into any particular school or movement. Thousands of students were still packed on the lower terrace. There were loud screams as people were knocked over and trampled underfoot. A few students who were being crushed against the balustrades at the edge of the terrace climbed over and jumped off. I watched tanks driving back and forth across the nylon tents in the north and wondered whether the boy I'd seen writing out his will had escaped. I never found my backpack. The thermos cup that Guyo bought me from Shenzhen had presumably been flattened by now. Uh, this book, of course, I described the fact that in 1989, China experienced a huge student movement. Then the student movement became a movement for freedom. I used a high school student who was hit by a bomb. It became a plant person. When he woke up, he found that he was the only one who was not a human being. He was the only one who was not a human being. He was the only one who was not a human being. 因为整个的社会把六四的历史全都给洗干净了，是这么一个小说，是关于记忆和这个与集权社会抗争的一个小说。After 1989, did you always know at some level this historical experience of, of such depth and resonance would inevitably find its way into your work, and how long did it take for the process of Finding a form for this novel to reach completion. I think because it comes to my main reason, it is because of my brother. After he became a human being, I felt that after 64, the Great Cleansing, when everyone had to wipe the history from their mind, he was the only one who kept the memory of this memory. I started to think about it from this perspective. Two foreign journalists took flash photographs as more students began to file out towards the southeast. A band of plainclothes policemen dressed like reporters snatched the cameras from the journalists, twisted their arms back and dragged them off into the bushes. One of my shoes had been pulled off during the stampede. I took off the other one and flung it at the battalion of soldiers behind us. They were forcing us forward, striking us over the heads with the butts of their guns as though they were driving out a pack of dogs. What is the difference between presenting a tableau of、uh, a sort of documentary history of the debate incident, the sheer, the sheer wealth and flux of it, and novelization of it? I'm very interested in what precisely is the process of conversion from from what to what. Uh, this document is also published. Of course, I've been working for this ten years. I've been working on this project for ten years. 呃，差不多的学生领袖，我差不多有一半都跟他们认识，他们的性格，他们的这个、呃、说话的特点，他们讲到每个人说话的对这个历史的看法，我都我都有很多资料。我想历史很像是这个埋埋在土里的树根一样，而小说就是让这个这个树根长成一棵树，让我们可以看得到它是一个活的，它是一个有情感的。About 300 students were still sitting on the south side of the monument, refusing to move. The soldiers and policemen surrounding them were kicking and clubbing them. I spotted Zhang Jie among the crowd. He stood up and waved a flag, but was quickly struck down by a rifle butt. Xiao Li appeared in front of me. He looked smaller. His eyes were red. His shirt was torn at the shoulder, and the skin underneath was ripped open. He was covered in dirt and blood. Chu Fa grabbed his arm and said, "Where have you been?" They killed Mo Sein," he replied blankly. 
I was right next to him when it happened. We were in the northeast corner. I think it's one of the most important novels of a big, with a big social theme to have emerged anywhere in the last decade, in fact. I think it's um, probably will be seen in hindsight as a statement, an event of the same order of magnitude as, for instance, the great novels resurrecting the memory of the Russian people under Stalinism by writers such as Solzhenitsyn. I think it's up there with a novel such as Solzhenitsyn's The First Circle um, or Cancer Ward as a, a making visible of suppressed histories, um, a documentary record of uh, what has been lost and what tyranny tries to forget, but also a completely fully realized fictional recreation of these great events through the prism and the framework of, a, of it, individuals who are intimately involved with them. It is a, a global novel of uh, enduring power and relevance. Do you think at the moment, 20 years after these great events, there is a hunger for democratic change? Or has the uh, wave of suppression and the diversion of people's energies into money-making, into personal prosperity, has that done its work and pacified the people? I think the biggest thing is the understanding of the Western culture and the understanding of the Western culture. It's also a difference. It's that people feel that the Western culture is already very good. They don't need a minority. My opinion is that when a poor prison 跟住到一个富有的监狱，那当然一个富有的监狱可能住起来更舒服。但是集权国家有一个特点，它非常富有，但是它没有安全感。我的意思，中国政府的官员也没有安全感，因为你都有可能成为一个受害者。那我想，凡是从集权国家出来的作家，他本身有一种压力，这种压力就是他认为写作必须获得自由。无论无论他活在哪个国家，他在他的这个语言里边如果没有自由的话，他会一直在反抗，这是，这是一种责任。嗯、这种感觉是不一样的。那个国家虽然充满了政治，但是你会感觉到这种。呃，在这种政治的国家里面，作家可以找到自己描述的那种语语言的方式，因为我并不知道别的语言该怎么写。<音>